violence and other kind of violence. What's good cyberspace? It's the Black Gen Z Mindset. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe, and let's get into the video. I'm Nate Rogers outside Chicago Police Headquarters, 35th and Michigan, Superintendent David Brown and State's Attorney Kim Fox announcing charges in that horrific fatal stabbing in River North from earlier this week. Brown saying the suspect in this case turned himself into police on mm. yesterday. That suspect identified as 25-year-old Alan Perez, now charged with first-degree murder. Wow. And we all know that these burrito gremlins are absolutely out here catching bodies um this one is particularly different because it's a stabbing in a road rage incident when we usually see gunfire being exchanged during these road rage uh road rage incidents but I mean, this one is crazy, so buckle up. The road rage incident occurred Tuesday night in River North. Witnesses told the Sun-Times the victim, Jeremy Walker, had gotten out of his car to confront Perez about honking his horn. Mm. A fight ensued. Police say Perez stabbed the 36-year-old in the neck. Wow. Huh. So much for the black and brown community and communitino. I mean... The reality is that there, there really is no unity when it comes to the black and brown community and communitino. And we try and act like there is. We really try and act like there is, but there's no love and there's no love loss. I mean, even when you look at um, other Hispanic countries like South America, they enslaved Africans even more than the United States. People don't know that. Um, you know, if you want to talk about Brazil, the Spanish that came over, I mean, it's a lot of things that went down. It's a lot of things that went down. And <clears throat> we try and act like there's some type of thing that's uniting us um, because we have melanin, but we're all a different people Obviously, we're all human beings, but we come from different tribes. So there's you can't say, oh, well, the black and brown community is against gliders because that's not true because we're against each other as well. So it's like <laughs> we're all we're all in, in, in some type of competition when it comes to this life that we live on this world and to try and act like we're unified because of the amount of melanin that we have or the fact that we have melanin and gliders do not have as much melanin like i i, don't, I just don't think that's a good basis walker made it about five blocks to the mag mile where police were nearby he died a short time later. Superintendent David Brown saying officers soon recovered the suspect's vehicle and also identified two passengers who were with him at the time. They interviewed those two occupants who were witnesses to the incident. They identified the offender. On August 25th, the offender turned himself in and he has been charged uh, Alan Perez, age 25, the offender, is being charged with first degree murder. Mm. And a little bit more about the victim in this case. I'm beloved by many family members and friends. Um, Walker had his own car detailing business. He also leaves behind a 12 year old son. In terms of the vic in terms of the suspect in this case, we're told he's in bond court on tomorrow. Also, um, that he has no priors. S um, State's attorney Kim Fox saying it's up to the judge's discretion to decide if he'll be given a bond or not, since there was no gun involved in this case. Mm. That is the latest outside Chicago Police Headquarters. Nate Rogers, Fox 32, Chicago. Mark and Liz, Superintendent Dave. 
Chico. David Brown and state's attorney Kim Fox speaking just moments ago. They say they now have someone in custody for that fatal stabbing that happened Tuesday evening in River North. Take a look. 25 year old Alan Perez has now been charged with first degree murder of 36 year old Jeremy Walker. Walker was stabbed in the neck, police say, during a road rage incident. The two drivers, Perez and Walker, got out of their cars, according to police, at the intersection of Dearborn and Ohio around 7.30 Tuesday. Walker asked Perez, who was driving behind him, why he was honking at him. Perez then got out, armed with a knife, police say, and stabbed Walker in the neck during the altercation. Mm. The next morning, the superintendent says officers located the suspect's car, who drove away following the stabbing. Detectives obtained a search warrant and interviewed the two passengers in the car that night, who later identified the suspect. Perez then turned himself in. This was a senseless act of violence, a needless traffic argument turned deadly. So we urge all of our residents to take every precaution to stay safe, but we will not tolerate violence anywhere in this city. Walker's family says he was working as a food delivery driver, but was just days away from starting a new job as a bus driver. The mm. suspect, we're told, has no criminal history and is expected in bond court tomorrow. I'm here on the corner of MLK and Frederick Douglass, where a shooting just took place. And as you can see, it's a pretty rough area. So I'm basically risking my life reporting on this madness. So make sure you do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. Like the video, hell, share the video. And make sure you go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section to continue the discussion on how we can find solutions to all this sun violence in the streets. I'm Jen Quavius Jackson, here live, reporting from Atlanta, Georgia, BGZM News 17. Uh, Cook County State's Attorney Kim Fox, as well as command staff members, uh, so this incident happened on August 23rd at approximately 7 p.m. Uh, two uh, people were involved in an isolated road rage incident uh, on uh, northbound on North Dearborn Street when they stopped at West Ohio Street on the 23rd around 7 p.m. Uh, both the victim and the offender exited their cars and engaged in a physical altercation. Mm. The offender then produced a knife and stabbed the victim in his neck. Sheesh. I bet that brother was not expecting that. And this is an issue like we got to stop being so ready to throw hands like everybody's going to shoot a fair one. This is the ignorance of the community. You know, people shooting, you know, people stabbing. But I think he I think he underestimated this uh, burrito gremlin on demon time. The victim then re-entered his car and drove eastbound on Ohio Street to Michigan Avenue, where the victim approached one of our Chicago police officers that were on a fixed post on Michigan Avenue. Mm. The victim was then, was then transported to Northwestern Hospital, where he succumbed to his injuries. Mm. Earlier the next morning on August 24th, uh, our officers located uh, the offender's car parked in the 2200 block of West 50th Place. Our detectives then uh, sought out a search warrant. They received the search warrant from a judge. Later that day, as they were uh, searching the car as a result of the approval of the search warrant, uh, they uh, became in contact with two passenger occupants of the car. So should we ban these assault knives? Because <laughs> he took his life with one with one stab in a road rage incident. Ban all knives, kitchen knives, pocket knives, any sharp inanimate object, ban it. At the time of the incident. They, they interviewed those two occupants who were witnesses to the incident. They identified the offender. On August 25th, the offender turned himself in. And he has been charged, uh, Alan Perez, 
age 25, the offender is being charged with first degree murder. I want to thank the state's attorney's office, our detectives, our Chicago police officers, as well as all of the work that was done uh, with the pod camera network, the video camera network in this city to locate. Okay, so it looked like um, those cameras actually paying off. Uh, this car uh, and the tools that we use to track down uh, the offender uh, to bring this case to a close and justice for these families. This was a senseless act of violence, a needless traffic argument turned deadly. So we urge all of our residents to take every precaution to stay safe, but we will not tolerate violence anywhere in this city. Mm. And with that, I'll turn it over to State's Attorney Kim Fox. I mean, I don't know how much I believe him when he's talking about not tolerating violence because we see it time and time again in Chicago. It's definitely being tolerated. Thank you, Superintendent. As the superintendent has said, the Cook County State's Attorney's Office approved charges within the last hour of first degree murder. Uh, this and I'm telling you right now, the only reason why Kim Fox is not going to give him a bail is because he is a burrito gremlin on demon time. And it will appear in central bond court tomorrow um, to have the charges and the proffer read before the court um, and a bond hearing at that time. As this was an incident that did not involve a firearm, it's a death without a firearm. It is not a mandatory no bail. It will be a discretion up to the discretion of the judge in terms of whether this person is held without bail. As the superintendent has said, this was a horrible, senseless act of violence um, that will not be tolerated within the city of Chicago or the county of Cook. I, too, want to thank the Chicago Police Department, its detectives, and the community who came together working with the Cook County State's Attorney's Office to allow us to have charges um, within days of this incident occurring. Mm. Again, these charges are but um, an accusation and the process will continue. But once again, we <laughs> hope that this provides some small measure. you seen she tried to give the um, burrito gremlin, still gave him the benefit of the doubt. Oh, these charges are only accusations. Look, that's understood. We all understand how the law works. You don't have to say that. You don't have to say that, but she's, she's, it, it, it's the wokeness talking. Okay. It's the wokeness talking. Of comfort to the family um, who lost someone so senselessly, so tragically, a father um, whose son must continue to soldier on without him because of random and senseless acts of violence here in the city of Chicago. Gang violence and other kind of violence. Get away! 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 Get away!